Hey guys, it is Matthew back with another video and today I'm doing a video on Crested Gecko Care, um, especially um, adult Crested Gecko Care, and yeah, so let's get started. So yeah, for Crested Geckos, you will need, um, for adult Crested Geckos, you will need a 20 gallon long or a, or, um, a 12 by 12 by 36 or an 18 by 18 by 24. Um, Anything that's big enough for them to be able to climb and to be able to feel safe. Um, one of the best things is to take a 20 gallon long and put it on its side, which I have, which I'll show you. So this is what I'm talking about. It's a 20 gallon long on its side. Um, I'll flip this up. So what I'll do is you just take some cardboard, um, put it in the front if you want. You don't have to or um, some glass and um, put the substrate down. I have a live plant, some stuff. I have a hammock, uh, some, like I said, hammock, plants, a bunch of foliage up there so she feels safe. She's out right now. I was just holding her in my last video. Um, a temperature gauge, and I'll open it up and show you guys. This shows the humidity. I just put it in there. I forgot all about putting one in there. I forgot all about putting it in there. The temperature gauge I don't know why I didn't put it in there it wasn't the smartest idea not to but um, I didn't I did now so there is that one in there um, so I thought this is not gonna be like um, sorry so I'm just gonna go over a quick thing um, for care okay crested geckos adults need from a start at a 12 by 12 by 18 for a sub adult then when it becomes an adult, you want to have it in a 20 gallon long by its side or an exoterra, which is an 18 by 18 by 24, or you can get an 18 by 8, 18 by 18 by 36, which I will be probably getting soon, maybe. Um, they'll eat, it depends on the gecko you eat, depends on the gecko you eat. Oh my. I made a blooper, I don't know why. The crested gecko, it depends on what it's eating. The crested gecko may eat some crickets, superworms maybe like as a treat. Uh, most of the time, they'll be e they'll be eating this Pangea um, or or Rapashi, which is what all that is super good for them. Uh, Pangea is a bit more expensive, but you do think it's a little bit better. Um, I don't know how people, some people, some breeders say it's better, some people, breeders say it's different and a little bit not as good, but Rapache, it's the same thing. It may be good, it may be better, it may not be as good. It's all going to be that same, like, concept. So, um, so you'll need the tank, the gecko, the food, of course, and, um, the most thing I'm going to tell you guys, you need to mist your geckos. If you guys ever have a gecko that does not shed or eat, it's because it's not being misted enough or it doesn't have enough water. Or it's just, it's nervous and it's stressed. You gotta make sure you have a lot of plants. I'm still buying plants for these animals. Um, because they need to be full, there needs to be so much foliage in there you can't see them. Crested geckos aren't normally supposed to be just out and walking. They're supposed to be hiding in their plants. That's why you always have to have a lot in there. Um, substrate, Eco Earth. You can use paper towel, but it, it's not good because it rots and it just stinks after a while. And it's a pain. To, it's not a pain to clean, but it's not good for the gecko. Um, you can use it if you're just a breeder and you need to do something that's quick and clean. Go ahead. Um, you can also use rack systems, like I was talking about, but they're bigger containers. And um, so, other than that, other that so food tank, um, a ledge. You're definitely going to need a ledge. Some get, people don't even use a ledge when they're younger. Now you'll need a ledge. It's suction cups to the side. Here's a ledge. You, it's just a thing and it holds the, and it's a magnet and it holds the food and water. So that's the ledge. Um, it's really handy, especially if you need to. Um, sorry, I was just looking at a shelf real quick. Um, if you need to, it's really good because it helps keep the, the food up high so that when they're climbing they don't have to crawl down or fall in something and getting hurt. Um, also like I was saying, misting is a big thing. You have to always make sure you're misting so they can get full sheds. Um, you can also use moss. That helps really keep good humidity. Um, so does the eco roof, which um, also paper towel doesn't keep really good humidity. 
um, so that's why I recommend doing that. Um, also, just always make sure you're misting. I know I'm saying I'm saying the same things over and over again, but I'm just reminding you guys: you need to mist your geckos. It's, if you don't, it, you're just gonna be you're gonna be stuck in a situation that's really annoying. Um, you can they can go a day or so without being misted, um, without food, maybe a few days. But you always gotta make sure you have food in there. Change their food once that food starts to get hard and nasty. Don't keep it in there. Don't mix it up again. Just throw it out. You and cups. You can get those cups from Pangea um, on Amazon too. Really cheap. Like you can get. A, I just bought 125 of them for like 10 bucks. So or go to your local pet store. Ask how they, how much they charge. And yeah. So anything. Other than that, that's all you really need to know. I, let me know in the comments down below if I missed anything. Yes, my face is red. Um, it's because we went to the beach and I was dumb and didn't put a lot of sunscreen on. So I did get sunburn. Um, so that's why my face is real red. And also, check out this shirt. Thanks for Target for hooking this up, bro. Like, it looks sick. Like, I can't lie, it looks like Bella from, uh, from Brian Barchak. Shout out to him, too. Um, but yeah, hope you guys, hope you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know down below if I missed anything or if you want me to talk about anything else, um, animal care wise. I'd love to do that. I love doing, making these videos. I, I do these videos for you guys. Um, but if you do have, um, any questions or any comments, please come, oh my god, write them down below. And, um, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. If we can hit 100k by the end of summer, 100k? What am I doing? <laughs> I, oh my god, I said 100k. 100 subscribers by the end of this year, that'd be amazing. If we can hit 100 subscribers by the end of the year, that'd be awesome. Um, maybe I'll do a giveaway or something. Um, yeah, I'll probably do a giveaway or something. Uh, let me know down below what you want me to do. And, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Peace!